Today is my last day in the United States of America for, I don't know, a little while. Also, I think it's about time that I replace these uh, really old halogen headlights with uh, the same product I used before. Uh, it's not sponsored, not paid, but uh, I'm using the same uh, headlights because they're amazing and I want you guys to know about amazing things um, and if for some reason this company sees the video well I like your products please send me more <laughs> or let's do a giveaway or something uh, it's pretty basic just gotta unscrew uh, some screws uh, re-snap the connector thing here and then all of a sudden I'll be able to see at night now that uh, it's all removed you just uh, unplug this and then uh, plug that one in, and then put it back together. Voila! This is what it looks like when you uh, rip it out. Pretty easy three-prong connector here. Uh, then you screw in these and those. That one's to adjust it, as well as that one right there. All right, here we go. This is what they look like installed. At nighttime, these things are absolutely incredible. And they give it a nice, cool, super... I don't know, kind of futuristic look, huh? Well, testing out the, uh, <laughs> that, whoa! <laughs> testing out the, uh, hammock situation back here. You know, I don't know, you know, I normally get seasickness, so this is probably not a good idea for me, <laughs> unless I am looking straight ahead, but it is very comfortable. <laughs> oh, so by the way, um, those headlights are like 150 each, uh, I think 140, so yes, I know there are cheaper uh, lights out there. Um, uh, I take uh, safety pretty seriously in a big bus. This is uh, almost 16,000 pounds. Um, I can tell you subjectively, they are the best, <laughs> but I can't tell you objectively they are the best because I haven't tried any other ones. Uh, I know uh, in the Mystery 13, um, he's got different uh, LEDs. Uh, if anybody's interested or curious about LEDs, I suppose you could ask him how they work. I think his are a bit cheaper. I, I think the same type I saw for 100 bucks had little individual lights around the 5x7 size. But um, yeah, I, I just wanted to share that because I know they're not 100% necessary, but they do a world of difference in driving at night time. I feel a lot safer. All right, we just uh, fueled up and I topped off. I literally put as much fuel as possible in the tanks. No big deal though, because it is one of the last times I'll be filling up the bus. I was gonna say it might be the last time. We're gonna have to fill up in Canada once or twice. And then after that, we are good, running on vegetable oil, and I will just- Wait, I, we yes. don't have vegetable oil though, so. True. It means we have to get some up there. True. We'll have to source it somewhere. And uh, after that, I'm just ecstatic. My costs are going to be cut so much. So, anyways, it's a cold and windy day up here at the uh, northern part of the middle of Montana. And um, I don't know. I just can't wait to get up there and start working away. stuff so uh, yeah pretty pretty painless you just got to get used to these metric uh, speed limit signs here at like how much is 50 looks like it's 30 50 is 30 um, so yeah I don't know we're just uh, enjoying the rainy, rainy weather we got a free uh, free bus wash right now Thumbs up to you. If not, 
Uh, for everyone else, you gotta go watch the movie Super Troopers if you wanna find out what that inside joke was. found in any place and I'm super excited. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with uh, Canada, they have a common law, uh, no, commonwealth law or agreement. So former British countries have like an immigration kind of agreement and so that's why <laughs> they have so many amazing uh, restaurants. So we found this, I don't know, Indian or Pakistani place not too far away. I can't wait. It's going to be so delicious. I love authentic uh, foods like this. It's gonna be great. Hopefully they have a buffet, and then uh, yeah, we'll keep driving. 